Wow. Oh, that's spooky. You start here. And it, go, and it li literally has this all the way around, does it? Yeah. Have you ever been down here on your own? Here's something a bit deep. The human voice is the organ of the soul. That Henry Wadsworth Longfellow knew a thing or two about the power of sound. Today's vlog is all about sound and the power of words and how precious the spoken word can be. Slight left turn at the crossroads here, but my dad would have celebrated his birthday today had he still been alive and he was the life and soul of every single party. I have hundreds of photographs of dad, but I have no sound or no sound really to talk of. We didn't really use video as a family when I was growing up, it was all still photographs. I have this, it's just a smidgen, it's 15, 20 seconds, something that I recorded years ago when he phoned into a radio show that I was presenting. Tell me why. It's my dad's birthday. Oh, Neil. What's your dad's name, first yeah. name? Well, it's dad. Yeah, but the real first name. I don't know, I'll just call him dad. Dads don't have real names. Neil's dad, what's your first name? John. John! John! Yeah. John! Dad today is, uh, what are you, 78, isn't it, today, Dad? Yeah, no, no. 16? 63. 63. 63. Nothing. 63. Sound is the last thing you sense, apparently, before you shuffle off this mortal coil. Sound is the thing that TV and cinema audiences least forgive if it goes wrong. To give you an example of that, years ago I was working on a co-production with television. It was a radio and television co-production of a pop concert. And we had in charge a TV executive who in the morning at breakfast got up at the meeting and said, chaps, you can up the pictures, but don't you dare the sound. You can spend a fortune on sound kits. So I'm gonna simplify things today and introduce to you this little puppy. This little puppy, and if you like, if you like the idea of what you're about to see, then I'll link below to some of the kit that I've used so that you can experiment yourself on some projects that you may have coming up. My working life has been split into two. Half of it working in radio and the medium of sound and half of it working in photographic stills and latterly films and it was about five or six years ago that sound came creatively knocking on my door again and asked to be let in and that was because I was photographing a wedding for a terminally ill bride. She had a daughter and at the time I was going to produce a, a slideshow and I didn't want that slideshow just to be pictures across music. I thought it would be far more dynamic and of more legacy to, to the daughter in particular if she had her mother's voice and her father's voice and the voices from the day and the sounds of the day overlaid over that slideshow. And so really that was what started me producing what I called a photo film. So I want to introduce that way of storytelling. And this isn't just a tool for weddings. It can be used in any form of photographic slideshow. Commercial, it can be used for portraits for animal portraits. I am going to share this idea via one special couple's big day and I'll show that film towards the end of this film. First of all though, I want to take you to a special venue on the south coast of England on a fort out in the Solent. amazing place. This is a whistle-stop tour of an incredible venue. Oh, that's spooky. Most Haunted came here and um, at about four o'clock in the morning apparently the guys that went down into the bolt hole, I can't see what's behind me and that feels a bit spooky, but the guys that went down into the bolt hole were so scared that they woke up the chef and he had to do rounds of bacon butties just to calm everybody down. This is the bolt hole though. It's supposed to be. Well, look, I'm gonna go in there, but I'm not gonna go on my own. And, look at this. Uh, get ready for an amazing view, because this is the view around the whole of this wedding venue. We are completely surrounded by the sea. Look at that. No road. You have to like steps. It has lots of them. Ballistic room. This would have been full of munitions. These poles jutting out the sea, they're so that the new Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier can find its way by laser into Portsmouth without running aground. 
Run me through that story again. About 11 years ago, Most Haunted found Sergeant Henry Actual um, down here and allegedly haunts uh, this part of the fort. So this goes all the way around? 360. If I, if I turn, turn this way, it's absolutely pitch black. Wow. Oh, that's spooky. And it, go, and it literally has this all the way around, does it? Have you ever been down here on your own? Yes. Let's crack on with this pimped up slideshow idea I call a photo film. Here's your kit list. One Zoom H1. It's small, fits into the inside jacket pockets of the groomsman, and the microphone is a lapel unit or road lavalier. 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 Lapel. Anyway, it's not really a tutorial film today. I'll make one of those later on. Here's the photo film. <laughs> There aren't too many places to wed in the world where you can't simply walk up to the front door or catch a ride in a well-polished silver shadow. I'm pretty sure 150 years ago, when Spitbank's first stones were laid a mile out from the mainland to prevent a French assault on England's south coast, that nobody was thinking this naval sea fort would become a place from which nuptials would be tied instead of a classic midshipman's hitch. Welcome to Spitbank Fort. I think everyone's glad that everyone actually made it and nobody missed the boat, um, <laughs> both physically and metaphorically. I first met Kemi at the Mars Graduate Induction Week. I was immediately blown away by her sophisticated manner and pure style. As dinner was served, I first witnessed my favourite side of Clemmy. Her ability to freely speak her complete mind to any given individual. So as the waiter laid down her creme brulee, the finger appeared. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I think you'll find this brulee is not brulee. <laughs> you really couldn't be more proud of you. You're an incredibly amazing and beautiful woman. And, and I wish you every happiness, excitement, love, and adventure for now and the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. We couldn't talk about Clemmy without mentioning her love of bubbles. We tried a large range over two evenings, but funnily enough, we never actually made a decision. <laughs> However, Clemmy, today you've made the biggest decision of all, who to spend the rest of your life with. For those that know Nathan well, he does like to have a drink. Let's take to your stag do as a case in point. By quarter past ten, Nathan had collapsed on the table. <laughs> so proud of you. You are the most supportive, kind, encouraging, intelligent and dedicated person that I know. And I'm so happy that you're the person that I'm going to take on the world with and grow all together with. Thank you for organising this amazing day. It's genuinely been like a military operation. <laughs> hey. Being close to water has been a bit of a theme for Clemmy and I in our important life moments. And that ranges from uh, when we bought our first apartment in Nottingham together, um, overlooking the, the lovely canal, to my proposal to Clemmy on a cruise to Amsterdam. Promise me you will take care of her, give her everything that she wants, <laughs> and if you're in doubt, bite your tongue, nod, and agree. <laughs> I, I wasn't prepared for when you came down the aisle today. I was hit by a wave of emotion. I cannot explain that feeling. It's, it's out, out of this world. Um, you, look, you look incredible today. You look amazing. Clemmy and Nathan, thank you for letting me be part of your day. And Clemmy, I just want you to know that in spirit, I'm holding your dress away from the salty sea spray, even if in reality, I'm somewhere in a tank in the middle of the prairie in Canada. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. <gasps> it's not about personality matrix or the chart. It's all about the bumps in your heart. Marriage means making commitment for life. It requires devotion to each other, the ability to listen, the wisdom to know when you are wrong and the strength to put things right. I am never wrong. 
<laughs> so now you're married, that'll be the last time you get to speak without an interruption. <laughs> I got interrupted all the way through it. <laughs> I will love you as a drawer loves a secret compartment. And as a secret compartment loves a secret. Love is to join and to separate. To walk alone and together. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and friendship. Oh my god, it's not going to work. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Go, go. So I'm very pleased to announce that you are now husband and wife. Give your wife a kiss. <laughs> Keep